Thank you so much, Ewan. Well, on the show today, we're talking about human trafficking. It is a big problem around the world, and it is a massive problem in South Africa. The problem also is that there's insufficient statistics around the knowledge of the type of criminal activity. Also, there are no legislations in place to empower the actual victims. So we're talking about it. We're also asking, what do we do? Well, we have identified potential threats so that we can protect our women and children. Children and young women are lured into human trafficking not by force, but by trust. There are clear warning signs that a predator is at work, and Claudia Smith of Annex explains some of these. Your predator or your trafficker is the person that's going to, for that child and for that person, for that moment, is going to provide something that looks and perceives for that person as something better than what I'm in. And also bearing in mind that with children, they can't give permission. So they are either being coerced or forced or threatened or made to believe that, go with me, you know, I will take you to where it's better. I will provide you with something better. And obviously then when they come then, when they're in the situation, that's not the case. And then it's often for either labor purposes or in girls' case, it's for sexual exploitation. But it can be anyone. It can be the pastor at the church. It can be the teacher at the school. It can be your father's business partners. The child has got a need to have a relationship, to be attached, whether it's at school, whether it's with friends, whether it's with a boyfriend, a girlfriend, someone older. But find out who are your children communicating with? Who are your children speaking with on Facebook? What friend requests do they accept on Facebook? Who do they speak to on their cell phone? What happens at school? If you start suspecting something and your child becomes obviously very withdrawn, doesn't want to tell you stuff. You need to find out what's going on and what's happening. And that's the biggest message that I want to get across is that even though the world has been developing so fast, human relationships need to get back to basics. In your relationship with your child, you need to understand, you know, how, what has been happening in this relationship. Why is your child feeling scared? Maybe what advances have been made to your child? More often than not, because perpetrators can be part of family, can be someone that you know. People try and deal with this and think that it's gonna go away. Don't try and deal with stuff like this yourself. Go to the professionals and ask for help because something like this is not gonna go away by itself. So how safe do we make the survivors and the victims feel when they do feel comfortable to come and report eventually? You need to teach your children what is important in a relationship. Be aware of the relationships around you. Be aware of the people around you. Be aware of the people that your children mix with. Be aware of the teachers at your school. Be aware of the circle that you move in. Because you don't know if the circle that you move in, your business associate, what really the intent of those people are. It's become a scary place that if someone comes and tells your child in front of you, come with me, I'll take you there, that you have to start distrusting people. But it's about the people that you allow in your space and in your family space. Make sure of who they are. Creating a safe and trusting environment at home could ensure that our women and children don't become statistics of human trafficking. The Vital Foundation will donate one rand from every pack of vital supplements purchased to victims of abuse. Healthy families, healthy homes.